Welcome back to Sailing St. Martin. In our previous episode, we finally got out sailing. We sailed over to Prickly Pear, which is northwest of Anguilla. We went ashore and checked out the beach bars and the gorgeous sand. We also found some great snorkeling on the reef. After lunch, we headed back to Anguilla, where we did some cliff diving and anchored in Crocus Bay. This morning, we were off to Sandy Island. It was just a short trip from Crocus Bay. The island is surrounded by reefs, so you can't anchor up near the island. Mooring balls are provided beyond the reef. If you're planning to dig into the beach, the entrance to the reef is on the northwest side of the island. If you've ever dreamed about being stranded on an island, Sandy Island would be it. It's a cute little island with about six palm trees, gorgeous, gorgeous sand beach, and it takes you about five minutes to walk around it. This looked like a great place to get some drone footage. We took the dinghy ashore and I was able to find a picnic table where I could launch from. I got the drone up and as you can see I was fighting the wind a little bit. Made a couple passes up and down the beach and the video turned out pretty decent. The nice thing about having a crew charter is that you have a captain and a chef on board. Chef Hugo provided us some tremendous meals throughout the trip. Pineapple roast with cinnamon and anise. Enjoy. Cinnamon and anise. Wow, that sounds awesome. And rum. Rum. Oh, we are in You knew I liked rum, didn't you? <laughs> After spending the most perfect afternoon on Sandy Island, we headed back to Rendezvous Bay on Anguilla where we would spend the night.
Rendezvous Bay is not known as a great anchorage. Captain Dom found a great spot on the east end of the bay. We anchored in about eight feet of water. Just started heading down the beach, it's about a mile and a half, I think. <laughs> Closer. Woo! We found this little Rasta bar called Dune Preserve. It seemed kind of out of place in between these multi-million dollar condos. Well, we finished up another unbelievable day with happy hour and a fantastic meal by Chef Hugo. Every night we tried to catch the sunset. Man, was this one to remember. The orange glow of the sun perfectly silhouetted the palms on the top of the hill. The next morning we headed back into the beach to see if we could get some drone footage of Rendezvous Bay. I took off from the deck of uh, the Dune Preserve and flew up and down the beach. Rendezvous Bay has to be one of the top beaches in the world. It's just unbelievably gorgeous. White, white sand beach, beautiful blue water. It doesn't get any better than this. When I got to the beach, I found out that I forgot both my iPhone and my iPad, which I used to view the video feed from the drone. So I was literally flying blind. I think the video turned out decent though. As you can see, we had the whole bay to ourselves. We broke out the paddleboard and the kayak and just played the whole morning. <laughs> Jeff Parker, beautiful, beautiful. And <laughs> hey, there's the beauty gallery. Yay, yay. Rendezvous Bay was quickly becoming one of my favorite spots. The crystal clear blue water, the white sand beach, and there were tons of starfish all over the bottom. We saw a few rays too. Hey, appreciate you guys checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to check out our next video. We head back to Marigo on St. Martin. We check out an old fort, and then we head to Grand Cas for a fun night out.